Hey there guys, welcome back and welcome to day 24 of Cards Every Day in April. We're moving away from Pokemon again for today. We're actually going to be looking at some promos from the Lord of the Rings TCG. So this is a nine card promo set called the Nine Riders Collection. It features each of the nine ring wraiths that feature throughout the films. So, first of all, we have the Witch King, Captain of the Nine Riders. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the names on the other ones, but we have the Second of the Nine... Third of the nine, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and finally the ninth. So each of these cards is foil. The way they do foiling in the Lord of the Rings TCG is that the whole card itself is never foil. They pick out elements of the card to be foiled. I'll just pull the Witch King slightly out of his sleeve so we can see him a bit better. So we have foiling here on the golden borders that are around the text box. We have the lines through the top and the symbols at the top just to kind of make them stand out. And then just the armor of the Witch King is foil. The rest of the picture is not. I really like the way that they do that. Um, it makes the foils look a lot nicer, I think, than if they just made the whole thing foil. So the way the cards are actually designed, it is quite difficult to see the numbering on the card. It is down here, but as you can see, the number kind of blends into the border. But the numbers on Lord of the Rings cards, they start with a number from 0 to 19. That determines what set they're from. Obviously, the 0 is the promo cards, which these are. Then they have an, a letter for the rarity. P being for promo. Um, in sets, you'd see things like C, U, R. And then they have the number within the set. Now this one is 108, but as I said, it is very difficult to actually see that on the card. And then each of these is just numbered in sequence as part of that promo set. So one of the things about the Nine Riders collection is that when researching these to do this video, I was unable to find out what the exact method of release was for these cards. Obviously they were promo cards, so they didn't just come in booster packs or in regular sets, but I couldn't find any documentation as to actually how they were released. In truth, that is the way for a lot of cards from older games, especially promos uh, from games where they kind of lived and died without any real documentation being done. Years later, it's a lot harder to find out the information. Not much else to say on that other than a very, very cool set. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you will continue to join us for the rest of Cards Every Day in April. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>